Would it be awkward if he offered to shake hands with the guy and he lifted up his shirt because his hand is growing out of his belly? There is a perfectly reasonable medical explanation for this photo. 87-year-old Frank Reyes severely burned his left hand, and doctors tried a traditional approach, but in order to save the hand, they had to bury it in the tissue of his torso. Dr. Anthony Echo is the plastic surgeon at Houston Methodist Hospital who performed that amazing operation. He joins us on Skype. Great to see you today. Um, here was a man who was burned, right? Mr. Reyes, retired cattle rancher, school bus driver, changing a tire on his trailer, I understand. The jack slips, and his hand gets trapped between a hot metal jack and a hot metal bumper. That was enough to do this kind of burn damage to his hand? Absolutely. He was pinned down there for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Um, the, the weather at that time was about 100 degrees outside, too. So just that amount of time, that amount of pressure is enough to cause a severe injury that Mr. Reyes had. So was this a last-ditch effort to save his hand doing the operation where you used his abdomen to create extra tissue? I wouldn't say it's a last-ditch. I mean, there's several different methods available for upper extremity reconstruction. Uh, with Mr. Reyes, though, with him being 87 years old, he's a very fit and active gentleman. Uh, we want to do everything we can to save that hand and not uh, resort to an amputation, uh, which sometimes can result with these bad burns or bad upper extremity injuries. Uh, burying his hand in the abdomen was one such option, uh, which for him uh, decreased operative time and uh, potentially offered an opportunity to save his hand and regain some function down the road. So I understand that the first approach was, you know, the cleaning it up, bandaging it up, and then an infection set in. And he had to have, what, an index finger amputated? Uh, Mr. Reyes uh, was referred to me at around three weeks from his injury when it was clear that his hand was not going to heal spontaneously. And at that point, we had to decide how to reconstruct his hand. What are the advantages to this kind of surgery where you're using the torso to help heal a hand? Well, the nice thing about this surgery is that it's something that's been around I mean, for decades. I mean, it was probably described first in the early 1900s uh, when patients were coming back from wars, such as World War I, with upper extremity traumas that needed reconstruction. The nice thing about using the abdomen, it's something that's time-tested, it's reliable. And with Mr. Reyes, we didn't really want to take chances and try to do something that may, uh, may be another option, but it would require a very long surgery or something that would require, uh, or potentially have something that has a higher failure rate. So this is time tested and uh, very reliable. So we wanted to get in there, limit the length of time for surgery um, for Mr. Reyes and try to uh, just give him the best possible outcome to heal his hand. How long did he have to have his hand sewed into his torso? It's for three weeks. I think he had it specifically in his case was three weeks and two days. But what we know in our literature and from this being done before, uh, in various forms or fashion is that it takes about three weeks for the blood supply from the donor site to connect to the recipient site. So in this case, the abdominal tissue uh, blood supply connecting with the blood supply to the hand. After three weeks, then you can safely divide the rest of the incisions on the abdomen, and that tissue, which is his abdominal tissue, will be supplied by the back of his hand. And what's his prognosis now? Well, I just saw him actually yesterday uh, for his one-week follow-up appointment. The tissue is alive and well. The patient is doing very well and in very good spirits. And uh, at this point, uh, for the next several months, he's going to have to do some rehabilitation uh, and therapy to start the joints moving in the hand or allow the joints to move a little more efficiently in the hand. Everything gets a little stiff during the three-week period when his hand is uh, on his abdomen. Plus, for the three weeks prior when that burn occurred, uh, he wasn't moving his hand all that well either. So we have yeah. about six weeks' worth of uh, stiffness to work through, and that's going to take several months. But uh, his hand is alive and well. He's going to have some function of that hand, and it's just a matter of doing the rehabilitation at this point. Well, it sounds like he's really anxious that. He says he's not a person who likes getting cooped up, and he just wants to get out there and raise his cattle and ride his horses. So hopefully all goes well for him. Dr. Echo, thank you so much for sharing his story. Thank you for having me.